So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. So here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, fighting out of Spain, Ilya Topuria. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title fight. for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, so here he is, the still undefeated Spaniard, Ilya Topuria. And even before he became the world champion, his Instagram bio said UFC featherweight champion. Self-belief and confidence are not issues for one of the more sophisticated fighters and athletes on this roster. He just has a wisdom and a maturity that belies his years, and that's why even in a matchup like this, he will be patient, he will be calculated, and when a window opens to close the show, more than likely, go close. And he comes through with a big knee. And look at the on the opposite side to give himself the correct space to land these beautiful knees. What a nasty kick that was thrown with ill intent. Oh, nice takedown defense. And now some separation. Nice straight right lands. Wow, what a kick! I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice crack there. Topoli is swelling out around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Oh, nice little right hook there. Both 
guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Nice one, two there. Oh, nice jab out there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in the track. He's doing a great job of fighting. Him. Oh, perfect head kick there. Midway through round one. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. There's that patented single. Making all these shots count. Topuria's trying for a Kimura here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, the submission defense holds up, he gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Big ground and pound. Topuria going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Hammer fist here by Ilya Topuri. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, setting up another submission now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle. Oh, he escapes. There goes another one. And once again, he just backs it away. Great submission defense. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Oh, right hand, yes. Oh, flying knee right on the chin. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, and cut has just opened up on his forehead. We'll keep an eye on it. Superman punch lands! Wow. Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. You see there's a cut above his eyes, sustained in that round. And now the cut man comes in. He'll have 60 seconds to try to close it up and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole. And I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Both. Oh, punches and punches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attack. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Well, not exactly what we thought we would see out of this jiu-jitsu fighter. Attempting a choke now. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, he got out. How good is that? 
This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. Clips him with a right hand now. Working off the jab, it's good. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, is he putting it all together tonight? Another huge kick lands. Topodia gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double. Kickboxing 101. Now getting that left hand home to the target. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, big shots from the top. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Another ground and pound strike lands. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Good work from the top here by Topuria. Beautiful reversal on the ground. Back to his feet. Topuria's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice shot to the head from the clinch position. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, no feeling that process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the others. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, big knee to the head. Wow. And look at him post on the opposite side give himself the right distance to land these beautiful knees. And that underhook helping him control that side of his opponent. Nicely done. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how we needed to change something. He has to change it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Final seconds of the round. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Collar tie here in the clinch. Another big takedown. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Round three of a possible five. 
All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really... Oh, oh we're getting to finish here. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off. Take your time. He's right for the pick. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. So Puni is really making things difficult for the opposition right now, continuing to target that damaged nose, and that last strike absolutely found the target. Nice body shot. Oh! oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Just over three minutes to go. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you got to think this is going to start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where... He's going to start to get desperate. He's going to start to make some mistakes because the swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Look at that. Recognizing he's about to lose position. Topuria's in half guard. Inside the closed guard. Matt White setting up for a finish here. He's got it isolated. Submission defense is able to take his arm out and stay safe. All right, side control now. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, is a fantastic fighter. He's the smartest they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus. And we are seeing it very clear right now. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Topuria is trying to lock up on a submission now. Yep, oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Topuria. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Waning seconds here of round number three. Great ground and pound by this man. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you gotta 
either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and that is one of the best five-minute stanzas you will ever see from a fighter. Rocked him multiple times, unable to get him out of there, but came pretty darn close. He did come close to finishing the fight, but he didn't get it done. Now, it will be on him to try and stay patient, try to find the kill shot without overextending himself and putting himself in trouble. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. What a kick that one landed. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, back and forth we go. Stuff to take down, no problem. Now some separation from his clutch position. Man, has he been masterful on the feet this evening. And everything has worked off of that patented jab. He has had that in his opponent's mug all night long. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Heavy kick downstairs. Leg kicks all day. His mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious win. Well, it's going to take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. Topodi is in half guard. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Topuria. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. The arm triangle's getting very close. What he's got to do now is get to the opposite side of the body. Oh, he's out. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground. And no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Topodia gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Another jab land. Topodia's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. He passed the half guard. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. It looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolated it to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. You gotta be kidding me. He gets out of danger again. Once again, he gets his arm out. Great submission defense. Under two minutes here to go round four. Great job landing from the top position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Great job being busy off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Topodi is back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. guy's a magician. He just keeps on escaping. I'm trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired and that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Oh, he's hurt. 
Oh, nice kick. Oh, that's good. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Seconds left. Nice leg kick. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A big double leg left. Oh, In a very God. close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round. Landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Nice. Nice. Oh! Oh! He passed the half. Strike there from the bottom, nicely done by Topuria. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Great shot from the top position. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Topuria. Oh, right into Mount. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest, and get enough pressure to finish his technique. Oh, he escapes! He got out! I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, nice. Topuria's thigh really starting to show serious signs of bruising here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Man, he's got good hands. Beautiful strike there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Man, that cut is just nasty. So if you're the guy who cleans up the canvas, are you, like, rooting for this so you have a job to do? I mean... So does the cut, man. We are bloodied and battered here in the octagon. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. All right, very late in the fight now, DC. I know we don't have open. Oh, he heard that. You he heard him. Oh! Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though them, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Topuria. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across the body. Oh, he's out. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. This is where he wants to be. Oh, boy, look at that gash. Dean steps in. Holy smokes. Have a night, young man. So how about that as he pounds him out 
for the TKO. Prioritized the finish tonight. Absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 31 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Black Mamba. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.